hello welcome back to my channel if it's your first time visiting hello thank you so much for stopping by my little channel I really appreciate you joining us and if you want to see more of my future content more how-to tattoos um, click the subscription button below and don't forget to click the bell if you want notifications for when I upload future videos I really appreciate everybody's love they've been sending me lately all the beautiful comments and especially welcome to all my new friends that I've made on the last few videos I'm totally value you because without you there would be no point in doing this I enjoy sharing um, my process with you I enjoy talking about the art with you and I enjoy having a general chit chat so please don't be shy to say g'day in the comments today I'm drawing the first part of a multi-part uh, video so this will be the first part of the draft. Even the draft will take two parts because it's quite a complicated design that we're working on today. It's a bioorganic design. I get asked about them a lot. They're kind of one of my specialities. So I hope you enjoy this. Okay, so I thought today we would one, test out the brand new camera, see how well it focuses. Thank you very much to one of my dearest subscribers for gifting me this great new camera. So hopefully my quality of my videos can improve. Um, okay, so what I've got here is a little template I've made for myself for when I'm doing drafts of like sleeves, half sleeves that are going to be symmetrical, sort of larger designs um, or things that are going to be symmetrical so I can tell how I've got my restraints here so I thought we might just um, draw some bio today for those of you who don't know what bio is there's different kinds of bio there's biomechanical and there's bio organic generally everything fits into one of those two categories sometimes they overlap in the Venn diagram of, of bio um, I think I'll do some bio organic today because that's normally what I what I do um, bio organic designs are things that look very sort of natural but aren't really something you'd see in nature so they're kind of like a fantasy design um, yet they can be sort of shapes and um, textures that you would see in nature so to start with with this one the main key for when I'm drawing bio is to get depth you want different layers of depth in your bio otherwise it's just going to look flat so I've got a rough idea of sort of what I want on the top layer and I was thinking I might do these kind of rib sort of things because it will be flipped over so what I do here you will see on the other side so I thought we'll start with just some like little knuckles here I'm using the lightest pencil first of course like I showed you on um, my chit chat and doodling video and we'll start with the a knuckle and we'll because these will hopefully look a little bit like bone and I thought we'd go around to the edge there and we'll bring it down and we'll give it a thickness so this is going to be my top layer now it might seem a bit crazy to draw the top layer first but these can get very confusing when you're differentiating them when you when it comes to um, actually getting to the darkest pencil so I'll just make that go a bit smaller I don't know if I'll keep those ridges along there but I might you don't know okay now to give this a try and keep these the same unless of course it's much further away then it would get smaller but it's not too much further away now we're going to put another sort of knuckle thing here to join it now we're going to put going to repeat that what we've got there not perfectly of course but enough so that we can at least get a pattern occurring and we'll draw another rib like thing 
you could trace them if you wanted them all to be absolutely perfect but as long as they're balanced they should be just fine so we'll bring this down too so we've got sort of a reoccurring pattern of ribs and we'll put some more little ridges along there okay so what we're going to end up with here is these kind of shapes i don't like where that's joining but hey ho that's just how it is and just put some shading in there for that one okay shall we have another rib i wonder yeah i think we should have another one this one coming over here so these gaps aren't consistent but this is only my very first pencil so we can we will neaten that up with the consecutive pencils that come after it okay so we're just getting the rough idea down of what we want on the top We want that quite flat looking because we don't want it to look like a tube but we might we might put a tube in there somewhere just for fun okay now how will we end this piece i think maybe with some nice knuckling maybe like that a half knuckle there because that'll join onto the other side We can always put some sticky bits of goo joining them. Okay, so you start to see those shapes coming along of the ribs and these bits will just fade into nothing. So if you were to even put this on the middle of a chest, it could look quite good or an arm it would look great okay now what are we doing through here i do like to somewhere in here put some kind of circular thing but we don't want it to be perfectly circular um, and if we put two they can sometimes look like eyes by the time you get them done so i'll just draw a line through here to make the halfway rough halfway of there and I know what we might do. Maybe we'll um, put some tubes. Okay, so that's like a big S shape. So maybe we will make this bio mechanical I don't know maybe I'll make it like an octopus kind of tube and we'll make it twist you can even make it like a reptile sort of tummy if you like but because we're trying to make it like a tube we'll have to twist it to fit it through there through that rib I'll have to bring that in a bit we'll make it come out of here Try and keep it in a consistent thickness which can be the tricky bit okay i think i need to get those ribs in a little bit darker so we've got our next darkest pencil it doesn't matter of course which colors you use for these because they are not going to be represented on the finished design 
put a bit of a bend in there um, like that striations in. Now when I'm usually drawing bio I don't usually really have a clue what I'm going to do. It's one of those designs where you can really let your imagination run pretty wild which is one of the things I actually love about bio. It can be really meditative actually to um, draw because you just you can take inspiration from anywhere I often take inspiration from like the seaside shapes um, ferns you know plants oh, we didn't put our little striations in here but I will I will now so I hope everyone's year is going good so far. It's an interesting year already, isn't it? There's a lot of tension around. And I think people just need to remember to be good humans. Allow other people to think differently than you. You might not like it, but you do have to allow other people to have their own thoughts and preferences, even if you don't agree because we don't want to live in the sort of society where everybody gets to get their pitchforks out and you know we want I think most people want peace and if they don't then they've got a problem okay let's get this tube coming down now what sort of I wonder what sort of twist we want on this tube. Okay, so we might, maybe we'll make it an actual tube. I don't think I will though. So these curves must curve with it, otherwise you've got a really flat, more like a tapeworm as opposed to a different kind of worm or tube. So and they curve with wherever the, see they're curving that way here and they're curving this way here. So you're actually giving it a depth to move through. Hopefully you can see that, hopefully it's in frame enough. Okay, so this is certainly not enough depth though, even with this like this. So what I might do is I may, maybe I'm going to make this like an underbelly. And it can be like a dragon or a reptile underbelly because it adds quite a nice little bit of depth and tubular detail it is a bit thin there don't want it to look like it's swallowed a guinea pig up here and digesting it. We want it to um, be a consistent. Hmm. 
Hmm, that wasn't going to do it like that, was it? Let me see. So this could go. So we would have, this has got its underbelly, we'll just call it for now because of course it's a fantasy object, it doesn't have any of these actual parts really, they're just lines that mimic and give the impression of actual other things in nature. But they're always really great, I, I love optical illusions, I don't know about you, but I've always been a fan and um, that's one of the reasons I think I like playing around with bio because I just really dig optical illusions. <laughs> you know, I can't help it. I, like I love Escher and um, his impossible staircases and things. They're amazing the way he gives those things the depth that they have. Maybe on this side we'll do something like this. Make it look like a tube like this. Like a washing machine tube. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so we're starting to get there. And you can start to see that I've got two layers, two layers of depth coming up now. Okay, so now where these are joined, I think I might just put like a skin. Maybe it can be just coming out of the skin. There and there. That's always pretty good. A little bit of a rise there where it's come pooping out. I wonder if you can hear my tummy rumbling. My tummy. <laughs> I don't think I'm hungry, but it's making noises either way. Now, okay, now we need to put some more depth in here. That is just not enough to cut it. It might look okay, but it's not really got the actual optical effect that I want. Because now I want something that goes this way. So I'm just going to draw a couple of different sort of thickness lines, some very small, some bigger. And this is where it gets confusing for you, okay? Because really, if you look at that, I've really just drawn random vertical lines over there. But it's what we're going to do next that's going to make the difference these random vertical lines are actually going to be like strips of like fleshy stuff pulling. Now we'll put them under the tube. Now you can get really, I sometimes go really way overboard and I put some above and some under and that and I love that but for the sake of this drawing and you understanding the um, depth in a very basic way I'll just do it with three very basic layers and we might just add a few little things that tie the layers together afterwards but for now we will keep it as simple as this might hook that onto that bone there but we'll cover that bone with this one It's probably a good idea to do a bit of practice work with negative space before you give these ones a go because um, 
the negative space you will really need to kind of understand to do these well um, it will cut down on the confusion if you've got a good eye to be able to see what's not going to be there and the pattern that it makes so I'm not sure if you can see that there that's the very basics of the skin pool now this is a very thick piece of flesh so what I'm going to do here is do a couple of Swiss cheesy holes because they they end up looking pretty good you just draw basically sixes and nines or you know elongated strips where the skin is pulling because of the tension the flesh is pulling because of the tension now I might put this one up up here join it to that one okay now for the sake of you being able to see what's going on here I will Hopefully you'll be able to see what's what's happening here okay hopefully that's made it a little bit clearer what's going on there probably not too much clearer but <laughs> it'll do for now it'll do for our purposes okay I'm trying not to line where we've got the little divot there I'm trying not to line the line up directly with it just a little tiny change like that can actually make a pretty big difference when you get so proper outlines on it and because our lightest pencil was just to sort of get the shapes well now we're getting onto the darker pencil which is more to put in the details so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put a double one here and this string can come all the way and fold that way so it's not an actual break in the skin it's actually a fold as opposed to an actual break so that just disappears under there <clears throat> and it might reappear depending on where I put the next you know striations so and I think I will keep this one a bit fatter and it just in there so that'll become all negative space yep yeah, that's good that's that bit one little line missing can actually the throat it's about the flow it just doesn't need to be perfect but it needs to look real and that might seem strange for a fantasy design but you, you will understand the more you draw that even a fantasy fantasy design must have flow and sometimes an ebb and a flow depending if you're putting movement in it and when I'm drawing these I'm actually thinking about um, the shading that I'm going to do on them as I'm designing them okay let's have a little look at that okay so you can see the depth starting to really appear what's over what's under you know this is the top layer 
then we've got the second back layer, then we've got the third back layer, but then we will have another layer under there, which obviously won't be as much detail as these other ones because it's getting further from our field of vision and it, it will also be much darker. Okay, so we've got that one. Might just put one here that you can only see that little bit of here. That looks pretty good. And you're not going to be wanting to try and draw or tattoo these if you're a beginner. By all means, try and draw them if you're a beginner for sure. Don't get frustrated at yourself. Just keep going. Start with something simple. Um, have a piece of tube in front of you and twist it and turn it so you can look at it and look how it goes. Um, you know, things like that. It's, you know, it took me a little while to teach myself how to actually effectively um, create good bioorganic designs. It took me some time. So, but it really is practice. It is really about um, how much you draw as opposed to your natural abilities of drawing and that it's how much, how committed are you to the drawing. <laughs> and it's all about how much time you spend. And I guess that goes with all art, you know, the more you do it, the more practiced you are at it. But these are always quite fun to draw for me. Hopefully you can see that starting to come along. I'll turn it around so you can see it from my perspective. So that's the bottom and that's the top. So we've got these ribs, these ribs here, and then a big tube, worm, and then the skin pull underneath. Okay, we haven't got much of that skin pull left to do, so let's um, just do that now. And just to key this together, I may... Um Swiss cheese hole there. Okay, so I think that'll do for this pencil. Okay, now let's get to a darker pencil. Let me see if I can find one. Here's one. It's blue or purple. It'll be fine. Okay, so we'll go with our very first up here. And we'll try and get this down to a bit more of a actual, how we want the actual outline to look. So I'm just um, messing up the actual lines of this. I don't want them too circular. I want them to look kind of, like I said, knuckly. So, and of course the knuckles are a little bit, um, they're not circular. I think my lead's about to break out of this one. Yep. I'll just sharpen that. I wonder if you can hear my granddaughters outside my window playing. It's so nice to hear them playing happy. I'm pretty sure they're screams of joy.
Okay, so that's give you an impression of how that looks now. Because I may even put knuckles like this in there. So then they've got their shading will come around. You'll have these like knuckle bones when they're shaded and they'll look quite good. Okay, onto this one. And we're going for balance more than perfect symmetry. We don't want these to look exactly the same above because they will look very similar on either side unless I choose to actually when I flip it over make make some changes and that's sometimes where these stringy bits can come in handy because then you can keep some consistency with your actual just basic design of the ribs and the tube the same um, but then you can actually have a little bit of artistic license and make it look even more organic by having the strings in a totally different way on the other side. Because we don't know what sort of creature this is, it's the creature or whatever the person is underneath. Bio often looks its best when it's kind of bumpy and not so uniform because that gives it a much more sort of natural sort of look. There we go, it's starting to look good. Okay, so there's our there's our ribs done. Just put a bit of definition here so I know what I'm doing with my shading. wondering why I'm drawing balls there but it's so I know what's when I go to shade it what's where the ripple is because otherwise they just will look like flat balls and that's not what it, the look I'm going for here okay now let's do the tube like to bring the skin down onto the tube so I think that's how I'll join it and then I can get this bit of skin where it's coming from
it's really about where the lines are. And remember, th this drawing is just a bunch of lines put together to create a fantasy. And that's what we're trying to do. But these designs do get very complicated very quickly. So make sure you're not just putting random lines somewhere. If a line begins somewhere, it has to have a purpose. It has to have a reason for going where it's going. Even if that reason is, oh, that'll start there and finish here. That's a good enough reason. How's it going to get there? What's it going to do while it's on its way there? And how's it going to look like an object? And what kind of object is it going to look like? And really, you can make them, you know, you can draw inspiration from anywhere. Plants, rocks, bones, sinew, flesh. Again, we'll just pull the flesh up with that. Okay, so there we go, got a pretty good twist and turn on that. Now for the negative space. Now the negative space is everything where there isn't something obstructing it. So um, negative space is actually just the holes in it. Now I probably won't get to do that last layer for this video, but you can come back to it, I'm sure, because what I might do is um, I wanted to show you the symmetry on the other little doodle that we did with the butterfly, but I could show you on this one just as easily. So I might make a video about symmetry and how I flip them over. There's a couple of ways you can actually do it. Um, and I'll show you all the different ways that you can. Well, all the ways that I do. And... So let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a video on symmetry and how I flip them over and make an actual full design. Because it's not as that difficult. I don't have to guess. Like, there's simple ways to do it, even whether you're doing it the old-fashioned way or the modern way. So modern way is obviously easier, but um, the old fashioned way has its benefits. Okay, so let me turn this around so it's like you can see it like I see it. And I'll start at the bottom. Here is the ribs. And remember, it'll make a V shape when it goes on this side. And it'll have the almost looking like horns, perhaps, as they go. And we've got the nice twist in our metallic... <laughs> worm snake thing there tube and we've got our little Swiss cheese holes here which would will be great when we get some depth in like I said I'm not going to have time to do that today this is just a quick video to catch up with you and show you how I get started on bio because it's a fun thing to do you may you might enjoy um, messing around and playing with some bio organic or some biomechanical um, you might find you're really good at it. You might find you just love it and the pictures don't look so great, but that you find it quite meditative to do. So give it a whirl, draw some bio. Um, let me know in the comments below if you've got any questions about it or what you'd like to see. So until then, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you. I appreciate all my subscribers. I'm so thankful for all the likes and really great comments. Hello to my new friends that I've made over the last few videos. I'm very, very appreciative that you're here. Um, and hopefully I'll have another video out for you soon. And we can finish this piece of bio if you like. So thank you so much for watching. Bye. See you later.